Hi guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter with another gear review. Today we're going to be looking at a camera bag from Porter Brace Bags. And I had not used their bags before. I have had all kinds of different bags. One smaller one from Canon. I've tried various backpacks and sling bags and I have a couple Pelican cases um, as well as some Gator cases and various other brands. Um, but I was at NAB and I saw these guys and was really impressed with the bags and one thing that I think they're doing really well with a lot of their new bags is a certain kind of soft case. So it's not a hard case like a Pelican, but the problem with Pelican cases is they're so heavy that they can be a real pain to lug around and they take up a lot more space so you have less uh, room for your gear. Whereas these bags are incredibly rigid but they're made out of a soft material. So uh, this particular one I'll put at the bottom of the screen and in the show notes on DSLR Video Shooter. I'll put a link as well as the uh, you know, product number. But um, this one's designed for you know, smaller camera setups. They do have big cases for rigs, so you could drop your whole rig into this thing and go running off you know, with your rig completely assembled inside the bag. So this one, I found I could easily fit several cameras and lenses and other stuff. Um, and I even was able to stick my um, wooden camera cage set up in there with rails and a uh, follow focus and if I had, it, there would have been room for a map box. And I still had room for a lens or two or another camera body or audio recorder or something like that. So I'm going to quickly go over the bag and show you guys some of the features. The first thing I noticed with this bag was not only that the weight was really nice and it felt solid, but the handles, um, they use this really nice material on the handles as well as the strap. The strap is very comfortable. It has some you know, padding in there and uh, it just felt great. And if you look at the bag, the strap attaches on kitty corners of the bag. So this really allows you to wear this and, and have it be very comfortable. So having that weight properly distributed made it really comfortable to walk around in. I've done a lot of walking with this whole bag. And it's a decent sized bag. It's not, you know, a tiny travel bag by any means. Um, the weight, again, I said earlier was great. Uh, what I also really like about this is the way it opens up. You don't have a single zipper and you don't have multiple clasps that you have to undo. It's just two zippers on either side and it's attached with uh, this little string here and then you have velcro on the end so it's fantastic because you can put this thing on the ground it's kind of awkward because I don't actually have it on the ground but you could put it on the ground pull the two zippers undo the velcro and then you have access to your bag when you open the bag you'll notice on the side there is um, this pouch right here. This is uh, has a zipper on it. So this is where I throw you know, filters and a uh, little case that holds my CF cards and SD cards. There's uh, even more room. You can put more stuff in there. Um, so that's nice. That sits on top of everything and you can flip that over to have access to the rest of the bag. And um, this bag comes with a, a couple accessories. You can get more stuff on their website. But the first one is this strap that can go on the bottom of the bag and wrap around your lens. So if you have a, if you have a smaller rig with like a 70 to 200, this could wrap around the lens of your camera and keep it you know, down in the bottom of the bag so it's not bouncing around. Another thing you get with the bag is this little divider here. And what this essentially does is creates a small wall that you can fit your SLR and a lens in. Uh, if you wanted to have a smaller setup, you didn't have anything attached to your camera, this will keep it nice and snug inside of the bag. They also give you this. It's a small pouch. I like to stick my batteries in here and then put that in the end of the bag here. And there's obviously both ends of the bag. There's a section where you can put extra stuff as well as the front and the back. This whole face here you can unzip and stick stuff in. And then the fourth accessory is this great little lens bag. Um, they have the loop just in case you like to have the you wouldn't be able to fit a 70 to 200 in here, but you could put two primes in here or a big zoom lens. Uh, you know, the giant Canon uh, old 70 to two, or excuse me, 24 to 70, that would fit easily in here. There's plenty of room. Uh, I can fit my giant Tamron 24 to 70 and it works great. So overall, I really like the Porter Brace bag. I think it's a great solution for almost any shooter. I mean, you, I could take this thing on a plane with me 
Uh, it's great on set, it's lightweight, so I can carry it around without having that extra weight that you would get with something like a Pelican case. And these bags are affordable, and you consider the value I feel with these bags, I think they have a very fair price. So check them out, I'll have a link to their website and where you can find their bags. And I'll definitely be checking out more of their bags in the future, and I, I really am a big fan after working with this one. If you enjoyed this review and like to see more stuff like it, as well as other tutorials, check out DSLRVideoShooter.com as well as our Facebook page. And we're also on Twitter and Google+, and I hope to see you guys over there.